What's good, YouTube? I came across this disturbing video based out of California. Two cartel members break in and kill a family of six execution style. Extremely disturbing. Let's get into it. Killing members of the same family in the tiny town of Goshen, California. The January attack left six people dead, including a grandmother in her 70s and a 16-year-old mother and her baby. In newly released surveillance video, you can see that young mom drop her in. Okay, so that's the 16-year-old right there. The house is, has already been broken into, and they've already started executing people. She hears this, grabs her infant child, runs to the backyard, literally drops him over the fence. That's her only way out. And she goes to try to jump this fence right here, and the piece of shit cartel member guy chases her down and executes her just heartbreaking and over the fence then climbs the, the then climbs the gate herself trying to get away she and the child were shot execution style just up the road that's him right here that's the piece of shit dude right here you see him pulling the gun out right here and you see she made it over the fence so she goes and grabs her baby and starts to get away but then this piece of shit here as part of what's being called Operation Nightmare, authorities took. So, you have to know where you, oh, actually, no, I was going to say, I'm glad I live in Texas, because this is in California, where it's almost an impossible, no, it is impossible to get a firearm. And if they just had a single gun in the house, it would have stopped this, and give, it would have gave, the cops time to get there to respond to this because there's only two of them on hell uriarty and noah beard into custody uriarty got into a gunfight with atf agents and had been hospitalized he's actually expected to survive the sheriff says that when investigators served warrants on the two suspects they also served warrants at several state prisons searching specific cells and inmates with gang aff affiliations and connections at least two people at the home survived the attack and one called 911. They're coming back. They're coming back. Oh, they're coming back in. Who's coming back in? The guys. Please hurry, come on. Okay, so I didn't know two survived. <clears throat> it doesn't say if they were shot or if they just survived uh, unharmed. So that's the homeowner that's on the phone with the police. So he saw the so so she has security cameras, which is great. But if you don't have anything to protect yourself, the security cameras are pointless. You can have a dog security cameras still pointless. They'll come in and shoot the dog. I have cameras to see what's going on outside. I have Rottweilers to warn me if anything's going on. But then you have to have the gun to protect yourself. Now, if you want to be a victim and you want to keep voting for goofy gun laws that you think are going to protect you, do you think these evil, murderous pieces of shit care what law is what? No. So if you think a politician in a suit writing something down on a piece of paper is going to stop any of this, I, I, I can't even talk to you because I can't even figure out what you're thinking. If she had a gun, if anybody in that house had a gun... 90% of the time when people like this hear any kind of resistance, they're taking off. So not having it, it just makes them a victim. They always go to like, so if you think that a gun free zone make uh, is, is a safety zone or something, like I said, I just can't, I don't understand what you're thinking when I'm in a gun free zone, which I, I never am. I leave once I find out it's gun free because I carry on body every day. When I know there's a gun-free zone, I stay away from it. To me, that's just a group of victims. They they go there because there's no resistance. People like this don't want to have any kind of resistance. The Tulare County Sheriff gave an update on the people involved, saying this is all part of a long-standing gang war in the Central Valley of California. In the beginning, I had mentioned it was a cartel-like shooting. And as all of you can imagine, this is exactly what it appears to be. Rivalry games between the Norteños and the Sureños. 
which we have all heard of many, many times. The two members of the Paraz family, the victim's family, were well-known, validated Sereños, Sereño gang members in the town of Goshen, which is predominantly held by the Norteño. People like the, these suits right here that, you know, writing laws or it, that doesn't protect you in a time like this. Your protection, your family's protection is your responsibility, not theirs. She called the cops. She did what she was supposed to do or what they tell you to do. She called 911. But the evil bad guys were just a few feet outside of her front door. They were able to get in, execute, and almost get away. You have to stop letting these things like, uh, what is it called? Moms against guns, mothers against guns, these groups like that, that push these politicians to enforce more gun laws. Gun laws only affect people like me, people like us. It, the, the criminals don't care. Evil acts happened years ago, years before the Bible. Like it's evil people exist. It's up to you to protect you and your family. Nobody else. It's nobody else's responsibility. Like I have a, I have a, a gun safe back here full of guns, ammo. I carry on body and anybody says it's a stupid people. Oh, you, you paranoid. No, I don't think about stuff like this. I live my life completely free of any of this thought because if something ever does happen, I don't have to get ready. I'm already ready. So when you see stuff like this and the people that say, oh, get, we need stricter gun laws and do, that's not going to stop anything. Literally doesn't stop anything because these people don't give a fuck about what law is what. It's already against the law to murder people. And they do it. it it's... When you make gun laws like that, it just makes the everyday citizen, it makes it harder for them. Oh, for like in California, when when, uh, when COVID happened <clears throat> and neighbors are getting their houses broken into while they were at home, mind you. So then they wake up the next morning and they go try to buy a gun. They realize there's a 10 day, uh, two week wait on the firearm. And then in some cases you don't get it because you have to wait for these guys in these suits to approve you for it. And they're like, no, I need it now. I was just robbed last night or my neighbor was just murdered last night. I need a gun now to protect myself. Once they realized they couldn't get it and they're like, hey, you voted these stupid laws into place. What did they end up doing? They had a mass exodus out of California and they all 90 percent of them moved here to fucking Texas. Where they can actually buy guns to defend themselves. So. I don't know what to tell you that stuff like this is just frustrating. Just knowing that if they had just a single gun in the house, if one of the family members had any kind of gun safety training, went to the gun range, it just had one. This would have not happened. That 16 year old girl and her baby, just seeing that is enough for me to know, yes, I need to carry a gun to protect me and my family because I will not be a victim. Somebody breaks in here it's not going to be an execution. Uh, there's none of that's happening. It's going to be a whole lot of shit coming back at them. Gang. The two suspects arrested today are validated Nortanos. The suspects and the victims have a long history of gang violence, heavily active in guns, gang violence, gun violence, and narcotics dealings. However, having said that, the motive is not exactly clear at this point. Brian, please. It's not fucking gun violence. I can literally take my gun out right now, put it on this desk, and let it sit there for 10 years. No violence is going to happen. It's people violence. These evil, sick pieces of shit are the violent ones. And they don't care about what law you vote in and what law you sign in. That doesn't affect their... They don't wake up that morning thinking... Hey, I'm going to go execute a bunch of people. But wait, didn't they pass the law the other day? Oh, shit. I can't do it now. No, that doesn't phase them, you fucking idiots. Get a gun. Protect yourself. Learn how to use it. Get comfortable with it. The Here, fence, this is the then, climbs the, the, then climbs the gate herself, trying to get away. She's 16 years old. She's fleeing for her life, her and her kid. 
and she doesn't make it shot executions because of this fucking piece of shit stuff people like this oh it just pisses me the fuck off because i already know if this was my house or i live there i pull out the gun i start defending the family these two pieces of shit take off fleeing because they do not expect any kind of resistance and I'm sure they thought that because they lived in California and they're like, what are the odds of somebody having a gun here? Probably slim to none. The difference, the difference with that in Texas, you break into somebody's home late at night, odds are you're getting some hot lead fired at you. So we don't play this bullshit. Just up the road as part of what's being called operate. Look at this evil motherfucker, man. Gunned down a 16 year old child. Oh. If, if that doesn't get you pissed off, I don't know what will. And like I said, laws, rules, uh, congressmen in suits, and these crooked politicians that say, oh, you need less than 10 rounds. Let, so let's say they make a gun law that's less than two rounds. I can only carry two rounds in, 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 in my everyday carry. I get in a gunfight with someone like this. Do you think he's going to have two rounds? No, he's not, because he doesn't give a shit about whatever laws you decide to write down. If you think a pen and a piece of paper is going to stop stuff like this, you're a fucking moron. You're, oh, I just can't stand that. And and I'm not, I'm not sitting there calling somebody saying, hey, I'm in danger. Can you come and save me? No, fuck that. I saved myself. You can come and take a report afterwards because that's all you're going to do. But I'm not, do, I'm not putting the life of my family in, in the hands of, anybody else that's your responsibility alone when i take my my son my daughter to the gun range that they, they know how to i mean they, every everybody's trained my brother carries every every guy in my family carries a gun we're trained in it we gun safety it's like oh i just it's it's, it's too much knowing that this could have been uh avoided nightmare authorities took Angel Uriarte and Noah Beard into custody. Uriarte got into a gunfight with ATF agents and had been hospitalized. He's actually expected to survive. The sheriff says that when investigators served warrants on the two sus- They broke into this house right here. The family's at home peacefully, watching Netflix, cooking dinner, enjoying life, and these two pieces of shit- Does it show it again? They also served warrants at several state prisons searching- they're coming back. They're coming. Like, I have security cameras. If I pull up my security cameras because I hear my dog barking, I have, I have motion sensor on some of them, motion sensor on some of them as well. And I see this, there's no fear that runs in my body. I don't get nervous, scared, just none of that. Why? Because I'm prepared for it. If this ever happens, if some of these idiots ever show up, and I know most Texans are like that, they see this, they get excited. They're like, okay. It's go time. I'll call 911 so they can come clean up and take the report. But th they're not coming in and doing shit to my family. They're not even making it into the house. That's for fucking damn sure. That's a fact. I can promise that. Oh, they're coming back in. So just think about it. She's on the phone at this moment. Her entire family is alive. Everybody's alive. And they're looking at this camera. She's on the phone with the cops. That didn't save anybody. By the time they, by the time they get there, they've already done what they're gonna do. And the sick part about it is, they get to go to to to, uh, to jail. Then they get to go to court. They're gonna plead some kind of bullshit, whatever the fuck it is. And then they get get to go to prison and watch cable TV and work out and be fucking idiots forever. And they executed a sixteen year old child. That to me just is, I, I don't know. It, I'm just going to keep repeating myself because you have to be able to protect yourself. Stop letting these politicians and these, these goofy woke agenda people talk you out of that. Uh, I got nothing else. This is. Who's coming back in? The guys, please hurry. Come on. The two I got nothing else. This is too much for me right now. 
uh check out the next video I drop thanks for uh, checking the channel out like share subscribe and all that good stuff everybody stay safe i'm out peace